Proverbs 19.5 says, A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will not escape. Proverbs 19.5 Those who are false witnesses and they present lie after lie, they will not escape. And maybe they escape for but a short time in this life, but ultimately when they stand before the judgment seat of Christ, they will be found out and they will not be able to escape. Because every soul that has been made is destined for eternity. And no one can escape what Christ uh, commands on that final day, whether he says, Well done, good and faithful servant, or whether he says, depart from me, I never knew you. <clears throat> so we need to understand that those who lie to us and those who are false witnesses and those who seek to tear down the character of the righteous and who seek to destroy people's reputations falsely, they will be held accountable on that final day. And they are living a life that is hanging on by a thread. And if they don't repent of their sins and believe in Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, they have a terrible and frightful eternity that awaits them. So when we are the righteous and people continually uh, seek to undermine our character and destroy our reputation, we need to not get worked up, uh, but we need to recognize that God does have the final say and that vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. And God will take care of the entire situation. And uh, this has happened time and time again with me. Uh, as I continue to get older and the more you speak truth, even amongst those who are self-professed Christians but are not actually born again, when you share the entirety of truth, they are going to ostracize and persecute you. They're going to give you all kind of names and label you all sort of things when you are just simply sharing the truth. And it's those who share the truth, who obviously we must do it in love, but those who share the tough truths of Scripture are doing so in love. Uh, not only should they do it out of love, but naturally, in a sense, it is kind of done out of love because it's saying, look, I love you so much that I am willing to give you the entire truth. You may reject it. You may hate me. You may label and accuse me and falsely say all these things about me. But nonetheless, I'm going to share the entire truth because I at least want you to know it so you have a valid choice and decision to know where you came from, why you're here, where you're going, and that if you don't believe Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, and repent of your sins, there is hellfire that awaits for you. Because the lake of fire is a place uh, where the fire... Uh, is never satisfied. It is a place of solitude. It is a place away from the presence of God. And who is God? God is love. God is grace. God is goodness. God is beauty. God is everything that we, our soul naturally desires, but we deceive our soul and we deceive ourselves when we allow our free will to override our dispositions by allowing our passions and so forth to rule us and guide us into that which is sinful and selfish. So may we not live a life that is false. May we not be false accusers of the brethren. May we um, not walk in the ways of Satan because that's exactly who Satan is. Uh, he's the accuser of brethren. He's the father of lies. And, and it is those who continue to lie, they will not escape. And so we need to pray that all might come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repent of their sins, that they may enter in newness of life, and that they may live a life that is honest before the Lord, and that they walk a walk of integrity.